I'm Flat Attendant Jojo. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing 2021 empties, favorites, must haves, whatever you want to call them, but they are certainly coming into 2022 with me. I don't know if some of you guys have seen this. <laughs> it's a flipping, I mean, Tobo Chico is definitely coming with me into 2022, but it's their hard seltzers in these really cute bottles, like glass bottles. Who doesn't love a fancy glass bottle? And I just thought we should do a little toast to making it through 2021. Okay, so cheers to you, cheers to me. Let's get into this video. Let's do everything from makeup, skincare, hair care, fragrances, and then like my favorite nail polishes to put on my fingers and my toes. I've gone through all these things in 2021 and I've already rebought them and they are coming into 2022 with me. So to start off, the Stila Glitter. <laughs> and yes, I'm being festive. I'm sorry if you can hear it do a little jingle. <laughs> The Stila glitter is what I wear on the corners of my eyes. Sometimes I'll drag it up on top of my eyelid, but this is in Kitten Karma. I've been using this for years. This is my go-to eyeshadow. I don't use any other eyeshadow all winter long. I get too excited about my inner corner glitter eye. I use it for Halloween. I use it for any event. I've already bought another one. Sometimes we'll sell like minis of those, the most perfect gift to give to a friend. Um, I will like put it in stockings. I am telling you guys this from personal experience. I've done it for you. I have gone through every kind of makeup at Sephora. I've tried every kind of dry shampoo. I've watched all the YouTube videos. Everything that I'm gonna go over in this vlog, I want you to know this is, in my opinion, my opinion, the best of the best that you can get and that's why they're my empties. I hope I give you something good to bring into 2022. I am certain that I'm going to. Next, we have my go-to lip gloss. This is the packaging. I do have the packaging already because I just refreshed on it. And it is Pat McGrath. It, you're gonna see an empty come out of this. So I think I've purchased this color three times already. It is so empty. I am into plump lips, as full as you can get them. I think this looks better than any sort of like plumper just because the consistency is so thick, even though it's like empty, <laughs> I can still manage to get enough out and saturate my lips because I just think this lip gloss is ridiculously saturating. This color is my ride or die. I have no lip color pretty much. So I go for their Flesh 3 is what it's called. Um, this makes your lips look so juicy. Every time I wear it, my friends always go, did you get your lips filled? I'm like, I didn't. Uh, it's just the lip gloss. So Pat McGrath, Flesh Fantasy. I'll definitely link all these things below. Do not worry. Girl cannot live without her eyeliner. So I use this roller. It's called a roller liner. I think it kind of looks the in-between a potted gel and the ease of using a, a pen. Um, and it's by Benefit. And I just do all black. It is perfect for a cat eye. And this I've already bought twice this year. It's every time I do my makeup, this goes with it. Mm -hmm. Need a little refreshment. We are nearly done with makeup and moving on to skincare. So, foundation. What is the perfect foundation? So this is the foundation I'm always getting compliments on and I steered away from it for a minute and then I'm back to it. This is the IT CC and I, I know when people ask me like what it is, I tell them it's the illuminating one and they'll go and buy it and some people are not a huge fan of the like glitter. There, is, I think there is a little glitter in it, but I've never minded it whatsoever. I don't think I look like I have glitter on my face or anything like that. I just think it's a very subtle 
illuminating and I get it in the color light just because I do fake tan so I am not going for a cool tone. I really like my warms or neutrals and I don't like going for the lightest shade. It's funny that light isn't the lightest shade but it's not so I get mine in light. It is made for acne prone skin and that gets me into my skincare. I have really bad acne and somehow I've managed to like find all the right things that won't break me out and one of them is that foundation. It is full coverage and your girl likes full coverage because I want something to last me forever. Check another vlog to see my makeup empties. But let's get into skincare. All right, I am particular and I'm cheap. It is a brand new, a giant tube of my face wash. It is La Roche Posay. I don't know how to say it. I don't speak French. Pretty sure it's from, from France. It is for acne prone skin. I shouldn't be doing this, but I will take off my eye makeup with this <laughs> because it works so well and I will let it just sit on my cheeks or my chin and I don't really struggle with acne anymore simply because this is like the only thing that I use. They have a spot treatment, but I've probably gone through like four of these this year. I have one in my suitcase. Marcus has one in the bathroom. I don't go a day without this baby. It has salicylic in it, so it, it's like a huge help for me. And then I have another makeup remover for my eyes, but honestly, I've been so lazy and I've just been using this. Since I'm drying out my skin with some salicylic, I do use a moisturizer. I just came across this, The Ordinary, and it is Natural Moisturizing Factors and HA. Like, the most basic moisturizer you could come by and I think it might be eight or $10. This bottle is huge and I use it morning and night and I have yet to go through it, but I will be repurchasing it when I do go through it. Probably you're gonna hate me, but I hate moisturizing my skin because it is one of the biggest things that leads me to a breakout. So yeah, I, I avoid it and I'm very strict about my moisturizers. If it was a $160 moisturizer, I would buy it and I would wear it if it worked, but they never work on me. So I end up going for a $10 one that is as basic as possible just with some HA. It surface, so if you do want something that like really seeps into the skin, I don't do moisturizers. I do serums. I'll like layer a serum in this, but this is the only moisturizer I will use. Okay, who is ready for some hair care? We got these two puppies. These are Joyco, my purple shampoos, but I know that they have blue for our brunettes and darker hair because my mom, I told her, oh, I want this one. She comes home with the blue and I'm like, mom, you know I use purple, not blue. I have gone through every country looking for purple shampoos. I do love an Australian purple shampoo, but this one is the one I can get in America and it'll be on sale. A lot of purple shampoos or like these tinted shampoos can leave your hair feeling just like worse than before you wash them. This one doesn't do it. Only have it sit in there for a minute maybe and it gives me enough of a tint that I don't have to like let it sit there for 10 minutes. Some will just like instantly turn your hair purple or gray, something not so cute. So, oh, I'm showing you the conditioner. This is the shampoo. We're almost done, so we're almost done with the glass. How I can go three days without washing my hair, and that's my handy dandy <laughs> Dove Dry Shampoo. I promise you, I've watched all the YouTube videos on this, trying to find the best dry shampoo. Another YouTuber agreed with me that this is the best. Some of my friends and siblings, they like this other one, and sure, like, it's maybe a dollar or two cheaper, but this gives so much volume and I would tell you that it's only for like blondes because I feel like it really helps me get rid of my roots because <laughs> your girl's traveling all the time she can't go get her roots done all the time so sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with my roots but Kat on my last trip texted me do you have some dry shampoo and I was like yeah so I was kind of worried that this would make her hair white or gray or something and she went and bought it she was like I loved it volume one and it is hard to come by 
I only go to Target and get it. And I get the biggest one they have. If they have doubles, I will get those because I go through this maybe once a month. That is it for hair. Let's get into my scent. I don't know if anyone else is a huge scent person. I used to tell myself that I wanted to be that girl. If you smelt this specific scent, it would remind you of them, but I do have a lot of scents, but this is my number one scent, and you'll see that it's my number one scent because I have a jumbo size of it. This is the Alien Mugler, Mugler, I don't, M Mugler, it's probably something fancy, and now I have the giant refillable bottle that I just bring with me everywhere, <laughs> like drench my clothes in. If you are into, what does it smell like? I like deeper, sexier, sensual smells. I'm not so much floral. This smells like nothing I've ever smelled in my life. Like it smells like alien. Like I have no way of describing it. It might even say that it's floral, but I disagree entirely. Here we are. <laughs> Sephora does describe it as floral, but it's a warm floral. So jasmine, Sumbach, Sumbach, some cashmere and wood and amber gris. So it is a very woody floral fragrance. That's where, like, I don't think it smells florally. It smells like woody, but I guess it's woody floral. And then realms of spirituality and sensuality with a blend of soft lavender. That is my ride or die. I just went through a whole bottle, like a spray bottle this year, and I was just like, forget it. I'm buying the biggest size I can find. Thanks, you guys. You're nearly at the end, and you gotta find out what's all over my fingers and my toes. <laughs> and that is my OPI nail polish. It is the Funny Bunny OPI color. You can go to any nail salon. I get it in gel for my toes. I have it dip on my nails right now, which we're, don't worry, they're getting done today. It's so hard for me to leave my LA nail girl and move to someone in Dallas, but I haven't been going back to LA enough in the past two months, so I've struggled. But that's why I have the polish in case I ever just want to do it myself because this is like the only polish. And if you're an, a white person, like you love white nails, Bunny, Bunny is the cutest and it isn't like white where it's like, look, this is white and then this. So they're very different. This is, has an off-white look to it. There definitely is, I don't know whether it's gray or there's something else in it that doesn't make it look like you're wearing white out on your nails. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are my all-time favorites of 2021 that are going into 2022. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, tell me what one of your favorites is. I am open always to trying new things. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and happy holidays. Bye.